What's up, guys? So, You Nice Hair sent me their honey brown wig that has these nice dimensional highlights in it. I am loving this color. I've seen it on so many people and I've been waiting for them to send this to me. So this is a closure unit with a fake scalp attached to it. This is the inside of the cap. Um, this is a different type of closure though. It's more of a T part closure. It has tracks all up and through the area. You can kind of see that here. And it has lace in the part and about an inch of lace space in the front that you can use. I was torn, you guys. I didn't know if I wanted to take out the fake scalp in it or not. I had seen some people take it out, some people keep it in. I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but I decided on keeping it in for now, especially for this video for you guys, because I want to keep it as beginner-friendly as possible, seeing as this is a really beginner-friendly human hair wig. Now, I'm trying on the fit of the wig right now, and I definitely feel like for the average size head, which I have the 22 inch size circumference for my wigs, it's a little snug. It's wearable, you can do it, but it's a little bit snug. If you have a larger head, this will probably be a problem for you. If you have a smaller head, this will probably be perfect for you. This wig is freshly washed and conditioned and air dried. When you take it out the box initially, it does come already straightened for you. So you could literally cut this wig off at the lace pop it on however you like to secure your wigs and go if you wanted to. I also kind of like how the natural curl of it looks too. Like, it's kind of cute. Y'all see what I mean? Like that little nice little loose wave going on, little beachy wave. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Now I took my comb through it cause I watched a few reviews on this hair and I saw some people said they felt like this shed a lot. So I wanted to check for myself to see if my unit was shedding a lot. And I didn't feel like it did. Like you can look at my comb in this video in real time. My comb is coming out clean. I have raked my hands through it off camera and I did get a few strands out of it, but I didn't feel like it was excessive at all. It wasn't an alarming amount to me whatsoever. So now I'm taking my uh, foam through the hair. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's gonna help me flatten this hair down because we don't want any humps in our hair. We want our legs laying as flat as possible. Take a look at this hairline. This is what it looks like if you choose not to do anything to it. You do have that inch of lace space, so you can if you want to, but I wanna show y'all what it looks like if you don't. I'm going to, you'll see in a little bit later. You know I'm gonna plug. If you watch my videos, you already know I was gonna plug. I'm taking my wax stick right now, and again, prepping this wig, cause we gonna have it laying on flat. We don't want high raised wigs over here. We want our wigs to lay as flat as they can possibly get. And the wax stick really helps with that. The wax stick really helps to like put that hair in its place, okay? Look at that laying nice and flat. Now, you can stop here if you want to and get to cutting off the lace and styling your wig if you don't want your edges exposed or anything. If you do want to try and have like your edges out, push it back a little bit like a normal closure or frontal wood kind of go, then that's why I am using my hot comb right now to push my hair back because I'm going for that look. But you could absolutely stop where I just showed y'all before if you just want to have you know, the edge is covered and only deal with the lace part in the middle and call it a day. I'm giving you all the tips about, you know, if you want to go above and beyond or if you want to keep it beginner friendly because you can do either one with this wig. Exhibit A of me going above and beyond. I chose to pluck the front of this unit because I like a natural hairline if I can help it. I don't have much of a forehead, so I ain't got no room to be playing with no thick hairlines if I can help it. So I'm thinning it out. If you choose to thin out the front, be careful because you don't have a lot of room. So you don't want to take the chance of over plucking and doing too much because you really don't have anything to work with to fix that. This is an example of what it looks like if you choose to pluck or not pluck. So, you know, you can do either one and still come out with a cute look, but you can see here why I did what I did. It just looks a little more natural. Okay, so let's get into installing this unit, which is going to be super easy and beginner friendly. This wig is 
amazing for beginners who want to get into human hair, but maybe they're intimidated by closures and frontals. This is a great way to get acclimated so you can have human hair, but you don't have all the trouble that comes with installing human hair because this was an easy install. Keep watching, you will see. I am situating the hair right now because I want to make sure it's right where I want it before I secure it down and can't move it. I'm using my Got To Be Glued High Insta Hold hairspray for this wig install. To me, that is the easiest way to install your wig because it dries super fast and you don't need a whole lot of product and really all you gotta do is spray the hairline. So the ease of the spray mixed with the ease of this wig not having a whole lot of lace to it, this didn't take long at all. I had my blow dryer going on cool for about two minutes total and then the whole hairline was completely dry and installed. Now remember, I always tell you guys in these install tutorial videos, you wanna use the tip of your scissors to cut the lace and you wanna cut jagged. When you cut jagged, you get a more natural hairline than if you just cut the lace straight across. Reaching into my little you nice goodie bag, I pulled out the satin scarf that they sent me for my edges. And what I'm going to do is basically melt down the lace in the front. I'm using a little bit more got to be just so the hairline is still a tad bit tacky. I don't want it wet, just a tad bit tacky. So when I lay this down, it'll really stick to my forehead. Now, while this lace is melting down in the front, I am going to get back to styling this unit. I'm going to flat iron this hair so it'll be a middle part and straight down. I think that looks great with this color. I just love how that looks. It really showcases the highlights and the dimensions of it and just the color. Like it just looks really good. So I'm using my flat iron. That's not my best flat iron, but it's the one I had on hand at the moment. It's my golden hot one. Usually I like to use the Babyliss or another one that I have, but I didn't have those on me at the time. So I'm using my little golden hot, but it's getting the job done. The hair is getting nice and straight. I have it on about 425. I put the heat on higher when it's not my hair. I'm doing medium to small, really more medium sections for flat ironing this hair, mainly because it is a straight unit. Now, you know, when you wash straight units, they just aren't always just bone straight, but it's meant to be straightened. So you don't have to do as small of a section to get the desired straight look. Did I say straight enough? I haven't used any sprays or serums on the hair for straightening purposes. So this is literally what the hair comes out looking like when you straighten it with like literally no products. I think that is so amazing. The hair texture and feel is super silky and it's made that way, I presume, because silky hair usually is easier with flat ironing. So hair that's meant to be warm, bone straight typically is on the silkier side. So I wasn't surprised by the texture at all. It doesn't bother me. I think it really fits the hair. The length that they sent this to me in is in 24 inches and the density of the unit that I have on is 150% density. <laughs> Taking off my scarf and seeing what we got going on under there, I felt like this unit laid really nice, especially for, you know, not having a whole lot of lace space in the front. Like, it melted. Little hairspray to keep the flyaways away and keep my hair laying down. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me and 356 Warm Coconut in my part to make it a little bit brighter. 
and also to blend that front piece of lace with the fake scalp that's in there. In the spirit of keeping it nice and beginner friendly, you could absolutely leave it here or you can get into adding some baby hair. I'm just adding a little one-two swoop. Nothing major. I don't want, you know, a lot of baby hair or anything out. I never really do. But I'm going to show you guys thoroughly how I do this little piece. Because I struggle with baby hair. I don't know if y'all do sometimes. But I wanted y'all to see, like, exactly what I'm doing instead of just glossing over it. For those who struggle too. Because we all in this together. is the final result it came out so cute if you're interested details are down in the description box thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye